ah, they're in the barriers, it's a good day for it. But let's play the hunt. Now listen, this is not an easy song to play. In fact, um, um, it's a difficult song to play. How is that for profound uh, thinking there? Uh, I'll, I'll lead you through this as, as gently as I can. I'll, I'll, I'll make it as gentle as possible, but uh, uh, the, if you want to learn this song, there's a fair bit of work ahead for you. So let's hope you're not afraid of hard work, as a lot of people are. So, I'll, I'll just play it through once at uh, a million miles an hour for you, and, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to pick it up. No, I'm going to slow it down for you, but first I'll play it at the tempo uh, with which I think the song should be performed at. Um, and because it's kind of like a horse race or something, like a, a horse chasing a fox or something. That's kind of what this song brings to mind to me anyway. And I can do anything I like because I wrote the damn thing, so there. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't hurt a bit. <coughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to lead you through the song just nice and steady now. Um, the actual uh, opening lick, the uh, uh, the main theme of the song, is a is a scale sounding thing, but I don't quite know what it is. It's in the song's in D again with the the E string tuned down to D, and, and the actual uh, run starts on an open E note. So. I'll just go, go through that again for you. So it's sped up sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one. And you, you'll, you'll hear that there's a, there's a bit of pull off there. That's the way that I get it to sound really fluid. Then I do the G, A, B minor, A. Then C, G, E, A minor, D. Now these chords are, this is like a B flat. Now I'm not, I'm not actually playing that top string. I'm muting it with the very tip of my finger there, so it doesn't make any noise. Okay, so now I go, I keep the same shape, 
what, what looks like is going to be a C, but the actual, that's when I play the bass note, when I change to that chord, and that becomes an F. So you get this sound. So you can start with a B flat, then, then I do. Okay, so that. Now the middle section um, is probably the most difficult part. So um, I'll just take you through that. And see. That part's pretty easy. When I do that part there, I usually do a little to give it that kind of Spanishness there. It sounds good if you if you if you uh, play the first part of it softly. So forth, then you go. Then it sets you up for the for the next part of it, which gives you um, good dynamic. Okay, the next section requires you to go with your finger. With your, with your plectrum, I'm sorry, like that. And then play this part. And you, uh, you'll notice that there's a nice little triplet thing at the end of that run. So I'll just do that again for you really slowly. So you, so you play that part with your finger while going at the same time, okay? Here we go. Um, I'll do it in tempo for you, then I'll slow it right down for you. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay? So here we go, I'll, I'll slow, slow it right down for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll do that one more time at a s slightly medium tempo there for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, when I do that section there, I sort of think of it orchestrally, you know, um, as if the entire orchestra were playing with me at that at that time. That's how I think when I'm playing that part. So, so um, uh, uh, there's an accent. Then I go. I play a little skip just before I play the next accent. So it sounds like this. And then I uh, keep the keep the uh, the G minor ninth shape there, and then I release it with the A bass, holding the what, what now becomes a B flat major seven. Then then release it, so it sounds like. Okay, so I'll just play I'll play the whole middle section for you, leading back into the tune again one, one more time, just really steady for you. Here we go.
Iguana.